Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks. Uh, doing a little bit of a different opening. Um, I recently sent uh, an order into SGC uh, to get some of the Series 1 cards graded. If you're not familiar, uh, they have a program going on till I believe it's the, I want to say it's the opening day or maybe the 31st of March. I forget the exact day that the, uh, the deal ends, but they're doing any Series 1 baseball cards. Uh, get them graded for nine dollars. They offer a five to ten day turnaround. Um, I mailed these out and I got them back today. Uh, took I think about ten, maybe eleven total days from when I actually physically mailed them out. Um, and then um, got them back today, like I said. So uh, I think they received them on Monday of last week. They shipped them out Friday of last week. And, you know, here we are today. So um, I think it was uh, seven cards that I uh, I submitted. Uh, some of them were for myself. And a few were actually in cards that we pulled in breaks uh, that I did. If you're ever looking to get into any of my live breaks, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That is where I post my breaks. Um, so we did, you know, we definitely ripped a bunch of Series 1 since, uh, um, since Series 1 has come out. We've done jumbos, we've done retail, we've done a little bit of all the different formats that have been released so far. And then of course, too, I've opened up um, a decent amount for myself as well. So uh, like I said, I think this was a seven card submission we did. Um, like I said, not all these cards are mine. Uh, actually, I think three of them might be mine maybe. So overall, uh, so let's see what we get, see how the submissions go. Uh, and so first we got uh, Riley Green, just a regular uh, base card. Um, some of them, most of them are base. Um, Nikolai, who uh, who purchases a few of my breaks, he actually wanted us. He's a big Tigers fan, so he wanted to send in two of his base greens and then um, the '88. So first one, we did get a ten, which is nice. Gem Min. Um, I. For a while, I didn't really care for SGC's top loaders, or not top loaders, they're uh, slabs. But I don't know, the more and more I see them, um, they are kind of growing on me, actually. Um, I do like PSA a little bit better. Not that I, not that you really see a ton of uh, graded stuff on my channel, but uh, but still nice. So he did get at least 110. Uh, so he figured just, you know, send out an extra one just in case. Uh, so this one, 9.5. So... Uh, I don't know. I mean, really, you know, looking at it, really observing it. Like, also, too, I am far from an expert when it comes to checking over cards to, uh, you know, for grading and stuff like that. So, um, actually, the centering looks maybe a tad off. Yeah, centering does look a tad off. A uh, little, little to the right, it looks like, but. So still nine five nine, not bad. Uh, then he submitted one of just the regular eighty eights. Uh, did get a ten on that as well too, gem mint, which is nice. So the eighty eight design um, got a ten as well too. So I'm sure Nikolai will be very happy with those grades. Um, like I said, for nine dollars, I figured it was worth a shot. Uh, here's a Oswald Peraza. Uh, this was a rainbow foil that I actually pulled. This is actually, a, I think this was the. I want to say that I pulled this in the hanger box. I think I pulled out of my car in my car. Um, got a nine. Rainbow foils have been really tough this year, from what I've seen. I've been looking up some, you know, some stuff on eBay and stuff like that. Seems like a lot of rainbow foil foils have been getting nines, um, but still, it is what it is. Um, I mean, there was definitely a little bit of stuff, you know, you can see on the top here. Um, but I figured nine dollars. What the heck? Let's see. Um, see what kind of happens but uh um yeah i mean that's kind of honestly kind of what i expected when i did submit it uh this was a bobby witt jr this was the uh, retail blue border um that i submitted uh as well uh this one was a nine i know there was a little bit of whiting you know on the top and there was a little bit on the side here i was hoping maybe i could get at least a nine five i didn't i definitely did not think this was gonna ten um, but, um, 
still, I thought it was sharp. The card was sharp just with the blue border, the Royals, obviously. I know it's, I know these are like kind of, actually, I don't know if these fall in under like the ones, because like you have that blue border or the blue parallel that's non-numbered, um, like with the 88 designs and a lot of the inserts and stuff like that. I don't know if these technically fall under that as well too, but I know those ones usually have, it's estimated about 600 of them out there. Um, I don't know quite if, those are the same with this if there's maybe about 600 of these blue borders out there maybe there's a little bit more maybe a little less actually because these are retail exclusives um so i'm not too sure if uh off the top of my head at least if uh you know the pack odds and stuff like that i just sent in a random brett Beatty uh because well you know i'm a mets fan so um unfortunately it got a nine um I don't know, like I said, I kind of gave it a quick little look over, maybe a little bit off-centered, but um, got a nine. Would have been nice, you know, if that got a little bit better. Uh, I did send in one ad lead because why the heck not? Um, so, all right, nine, five, happy with that. Um, you know, all the hype with ad lead and, and such. Um, figure I'd just send one of these in just for the heck of it, just to see what happens. Um, and then the last card, this uh, was a case hit that we pulled. We pulled, uh, so far we pulled only one home field advantage out of all of the series one that we've opened. Uh, this was a Freddie Freeman home field advantage for, um, uh, this is for uh, uh, for the person that uh, pulled it in the break. So 9-5, not bad. Um, you know, you can see there's a little bit on the edge on the top and the bottom. Uh, sides look okay with the the foil board, but uh, these have always been a tough one. Last year's very hard. Very, these are very very hard to get uh, tens. Um, I know, like when I've kind of looked from time to time, just kind of curiosity, uh, because I I was piecing together the whole home field advantage set. Um, there was a part of me that kind of wanted to get it all graded, but I think I'm just gonna keep it all raw. Um, but whenever I look up, you know, home field advantages that were graded, there was a lot more nines than nine fives and tens that I was seeing. So getting a nine five definitely I uh, can't complain about that in my opinion. Um, so overall, like I said, for nine dollars a card, I figured I'd give these a shot. Um, you know, realistically, actually, Nikolai really made out kind of like a bandit with his. Uh, you know, two tens and a, a nine five. I mean, you know, it's great for him. Uh, the ones I submitted really for myself, the four uh, that I submitted, you know, so so. I mean, most of those grades though, I kind of really did expect, but uh, you know, realistically too, for the uh, uh, the participants in my breaks, these four um, definitely got really nice grades for them. So, ha absolutely happy for them. Um, so, but anyway, with that. Uh, like I said, quick little reveal, SGC order, uh, just eight cards. I thought I had only seven for some reason, but, um, but like I said, I do like the slabs. Uh, you know, the thing is usually PSA does sell for slightly higher, maybe about 10% difference. Maybe I think maybe 10, maybe 15, something around there. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't hate, uh, SGC, uh, and their slabs personally, so, I don't know, I might, I'm probably actually going to submit another order of uh, some Series 1. I got some personal stuff uh, that I got in the mail, uh, some singles that I've been buying. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, just to kind of see what happens, see what grades they get. And, you know, for nine $9 a piece and then, you know, shipping, you know, I think cost me about 30 bucks total. Um for there and back maybe it was maybe a couple maybe a few dollars more um you know realistically it's not too bad so but anyway so if you like the video greatly appreciate it. like on it leave a comment uh you know on the uh the video as well too if let me know did you submit any cards to sgc during this uh uh this promotion they've been doing with series one how have your grades been have you been happy disappointed um I always like to hear from you guys what you guys uh you know have done how you've made out uh and also too, if you're new to the channel greatly appreciate it subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads and with that i want to thank you guys for watching see you guys next time take care everybody have a good night